Hey creators, today I'm going to show you how to create a consistent character that looks exactly the same across all your animation scenes. No more random outfit changes or off naked faces. This trick will help keep your character perfectly on brand every time. So if you're ready to level up your animation game, let's dive right in. So the first thing to do is to generate our prompt. And for this tutorial, I'm going to be using Grok AI to generate my prompt. So, okay, so I told Grok AI to um, generate a prompt for me. So I had to create a 10 to 12 year old boy with torso chestnut hair, a few freckles across his nose, bright blue eyes, wearing a navy blue jacket in his hand. He holds a small weathered compass with a polished silver casing, his needle spinning gently as if guided by an unseen force. By his side, there's always a loyal scruffy terrier dog with shaggy brown fur and eager elegant eyes the boots the boy and the dog should appear the same in every scene so i wanted to create more than one scene where we we'll get to have a consistent character of both the boy and the dog okay so and i i also added that the um there should be mystical aura details and Grok AI gave me this particular prompt. Also, I added that it should have an environmental mystical effect. It should have some mystical effect and Grok gave me more a more detailed um, effect of the image. So I also added that um, there should be specific magical creatures interactions and still uh, Grok gave me a better um, prompt. And again, I added that the boy should be running after the dog, chasing the dog away from being harmed by the evil trees in the forest. So this is just me um, giving this AI assistant more details on how I want my image to be because the more you explain, the more you tell your assistant what you want, the better results you get. So I. I added another um, effects that I wanted, and it gave me this very, very prompt, okay? So then, so because I wanted um, my animation to have more than one scene with the same consistent character, and I told Brock AI to also do that for me, and then this is the original description of of the boy and the dog, the environment, the forest, and how everything should look. So I went further to get uh, a description of each of the scenes. Okay. The scene one is chasing the, the terrier dog into the enchanted forest. And then scene two, exploring the magical forest. And then scene three, reuniting and embracing the terrier in a glowing clearing. Okay. So I, I also added that um, it should in, in, introduce a, a fairy companion. We've gotten a fully optimized prompt for this image that we are going to generate. Okay, so now this very first prompt is the description, like I said earlier, of the, the dog, the boy, the forest, and how the environment should look. So I'm going to be copying this prompt. Now, this first prompt. It's going to be constant so that I will have the um the same consistent image. So and then I'm going to copy this first scene and add it to the constant prompt, second scene, add it to the constant prompt, the third scene, and add it so that you'll be able to see that we're going to have consistent um images at different um scenes. Okay, so I'm going to come over here and then I'm going to copy my prompt. I'm copying it together with scene one. So I'm going to head over to my Chrome, my browser, and then I'm going to type Whisk AI. Okay, so this this one, this is the Whisk AI. So I'm just going to click on it and wait for it to load. Okay, so now as a new user, you have not registered, you have no sign. First in here, you can see it says, I'd like if you'd like to receive marketing emails, you can tick this box. 
If you'd like to also receive research invitations, you can also tick this box. The choice is yours. You can as well untick. I don't want to receive email, so I don't want it. So from there, you're going to click on next. When you click on this, you're going to have to scroll down. When you scroll down, you're going to click continue. Okay. So I'm already registered on the platform. So you can as well register using your Google account on the platform. So, and then the next thing you're going to click on launch whisk. Okay. Click on launch whisk. And then it's going to bring you here again. So you're going to click on enter tool. So here we are. So this is the place where we are going to generate our images. Okay. Okay. So this right here is your seed. You can as well, you can decide to lock your seed. You can lock it. You can unlock it. So seed is locked to create similar outputs. You can decide to unlock it. It all depends on you. Okay. Then this is your ratio. Okay. We have the square portrait and landscape. The square is the one ratio one. Portrait is nine ratio 16, which is for short. And landscape 16 ratio 9, which is for new normal YouTube video. So uh, it's already highlighted here. So I'm going to be working with landscape. Okay. And then this particular um this particular one right here is going to suggest prompt for you. It's going to generate prompt for you in case you don't have any idea of prompt to generate. So it's going to generate a prompt for you. But because I already have my own prompt, I don't need it to generate any prompt for me. So I'm just going to impute my prompt here. Okay, so remember we copied the constant prompt and the and the scene one. Okay. So you can see scene one here. You can see scene one here. This is scene one. So I'm just going to clean this scene one off. And then the next thing you're going to do is to click on this arrow right here for it to generate our image. So I'm going to click and then we're going to wait for it to generate. Okay, it has generated, but I forgot to include something. Um, and wanted a 3D pixel animation style. So I forgot to include that. So I'm just going to put that here so that we can regenerate, create a 3D pixel animation style of a okay all right so let, let me regenerate so wait for it to load okay i love this this is beautiful so you can see the difference okay so i prefer the 3d animation style okay so now we have two different generations so you can as well go ahead and choose whichever one you want look at this this is beautiful this is beautiful this is also beautiful i'm confused right now on as to which of them to choose okay uh i'm going to go with this one let me go with this one okay so what you need to do you're going to want we are going to um generate our animation so you're going to click on this video icon right there you click on the video icon now we want to generate our video you're going to give it a prompt what you want um the image to do what you want the boy to do what you want the dog to do okay so i'm going to write um okay so this is the prompt i want for my video okay so when you have done writing the prompt you want for your video you're going to click on this arrow and wait for it to generate okay so our video has been generated already so i'm just going to play it first to see you can see this wow this is lovely this is beautiful Wow, I love this. You can see. You can also make them run faster. You can also make your animation run faster. All you need to do if you want it to run faster, click on this box right here to expand it. You're going to click on these three dots right here. And then you're going to see playback speed. When you click on playback speed, you're going to see the different speed. If it's 1.75, so let's put it at 2. And then you see. So let's play it. Can you see this? They're actually running faster now. You see? So it all depends on the, the speed you want for your animation. 
Okay. So I'm going to go back. And then all you need to do is to click here to download. You see? You download your video. Okay, so the next thing we are going to generate the second scene. So I've already imputed the first constant prompt. Okay, and then I'm adding this scene two, right? Okay, so this is the scene two. And when that is done, I'm just going to click on generate again. Okay, so our second image has been generated. So now you can see that our image is consistent. Now look at the first one we generated. Can you see it? So it's the same. Okay, so now I'm going to generate, um, I'm just going to choose one of these two. Okay, I'm going to go with this first one and then click on the video generators. Now I'm going to um, write what I want the video to do. Okay. Okay, here is my prompt for the video. And I wrote, I said, the boy and the dog walking as if they are tired and the fairy dragging them to walk fast. The boy says, I am tired and thirsty. I can't run anymore. So let's see what we're going to get. So we we'll wait for it to load. So um, Whisk AI can only give you five chances to generate your video. So if you exhaust that five chance, you can just as well change your email address and you'll be given another um, five credits to generate your video. So at this point, if you have not liked this video yet, please do that right now and subscribe to this channel, okay? It's just a way of you supporting me and supporting my growth on the streets of YouTube. So please do that while we continue with the tutorial. Okay, now our video is ready. So I'm just going to play it. Wow, can we see this? I don't know the audio, no audio generated. It didn't give us any audio this time around. But if you notice the the lip of the the lip sync of the character of the boy, you will discover that it's saying what I typed here. Like I'm tired, I can't run anymore. You can see this is beautiful. This is really, really beautiful. I'm not even going to lie, this is beautiful. This is lovely. You can see the animation is so so beautiful. Wow this is beautiful so you can see that we're able to generate this okay so we're going to go over to generate the third scene so we generate the third scene okay so i've copied my prompts and then we're going to go back so that we can paste our final prompt okay okay so here i've pasted our final prompt which is reuniting and embracing the the dog and all of that so i've already added my third prompt and then i'm going to click generate so we'll wait for it to generate okay so our image has been generated here we can see wow this is beautiful so we're going to animate um i'm going to choose one of them okay so maybe i'm going to go i'm going to go with this okay all right so i'm just going to type what i want the dog and the boy to do Okay, so here is my prompt. Finding a safe place, the boy hugs the dog emotionally while the fairy joyfully flies around them. So let's see what we're going to get. Okay, so our video is ready. I'm going to play it. So here's our video. Wow, this is lovely. This is really, really beautiful. Wow. This is lovely. This is beautiful. Can you see this? Can you see the animation? This is nice. So you can see how beautiful this is. Okay. So with this, I, I believe we have come to the end of today's tutorial. I'm going to be, you know, um, creating, doing more animation with time. I'm going to do more animation for, in such a way that our, uh, our character is going to talk, it's going to speak, it's going to walk around, it's going to do something. Okay, so just watch out for my next video on how to make your animation talk and walk and um, speak. Okay, so please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel if you found this tutorial helpful.
And until I see you again in my next video. Bye.